that you're leaving. Lo-fi, or low fidelity music, is a genre of music that has been growing in popularity over the past few years. The concept is simple. You take an old instrumental sample from the 70s or 60s, a modern hip-hop drum beat, and just combine the two. By using that simple formula, lo-fi artists have been attracting millions upon millions of views. So the question is, in a world where the technological side of music is at its peak, and the ability to create professional sounding music is readily available to anyone with a laptop, why is lo-fi music so popular? Personally, lo-fi to me was kind of like a medicine. It came at a time when I was finding things pretty difficult and it helped a lot. Whenever I had things I wanted to forget, lo-fi was a solace that helped allow that for a few minutes. But even though I certainly enjoyed the genre, I couldn't explain the reasoning behind it. I hadn't really been into that type of music before, but the second I found things to be pretty hectic in life, it suddenly seemed to find a place. Well, to answer the question, we first need to identify where lo-fi even stemmed from. What encouraged its place in today's music scene? Well, lo-fi has actually been going on for a significant amount of time. The term was officially coined all the way back in 1976, being defined as music that is lower in quality than hi-fi music. It was used a lot to describe music that was made in home studios on cheap equipment by budding artists. In fact, you could consider some early demos from bands as a form of lo-fi, considering that the music is developed on cheap equipment and, hence, is lower in quality. Of course, this kind of lo-fi is very different to what people characterise it as nowadays. Ever since the 1990s, the genre veered off into its own form of music titled DIY, a type of music that budding artists can make at home by themselves. It isn't expected to be professional nor groundbreaking. Instead, it's just music developed by people who have a passion for developing music. So that moves us on to the lo-fi we see today. For whatever reason, the genre suddenly grew in popularity through multiple different forms, whether that be vaporwave tracks or some of today's most popular lo-fi hip-hop tracks. The time in which it garnered this kind of popularity could be the reasoning, but what is it about today's society that has provoked interest in this type of music? And why, out of all genres, are so many young artists getting involved with this style? As a lo-fi artist myself, I found this style to be maybe an opportunity. Though I found a lot of the music to be quite compelling, I saw this style as a chance to possibly be heard and maybe even accepted. And there was one reason why. Music today has become incredibly commercial. Most of what society deems as popular music is chosen by huge corporations who are simply trying to find the most watered down, cheap forms of songs that will still garner monetary gain. Of course, that isn't saying that all music that has received great amounts of attention is uninspired, since you can find a lot of very passionate songs out there on the charts today. But still, the amount of cash grabs is pretty huge. Throughout today's music scene, money and commercial gain is prioritised high above creativity and inspiration. You see so many artists out there today who are only in it for profit. Under the pressure of their label or any other higher authority, they release any old garbage into the public, and as long as it sticks to the latest trends or fads, it'll most likely see a pretty decent financial intake. Of course, not naming any names. Lo-fi music on the other hand is something different. Artists who label themselves as lo-fi artists are doing everything independently and aren't genuinely doing it for financial purposes. Of course, you'll see some bad eggs, but most are doing it simply because they enjoy it. Instead of a higher authority being the dictator, there's always passion put behind it. In short, as Reddit user The Secret Chord Music put it, I see lo-fi hip-hop as a democratization of music. Everyone can participate and enjoy together, rather than a select rich few controlling the genre slash scene. Well that explains why artists are into the genre. What about the listeners themselves? What is it in particular that they find so attractive about this genre? Well, to answer this question, we first need to look at the scope of lo-fi music itself. Even though the development of it in all cases is pretty much the same, it isn't actually limited to one style. 
To say that lo-fi has to stick to this one specific way would be totally incorrect. There are many different forms that it can take, whether that's how it's mixed or what array of instruments are used. But why does this matter? Why would this make lo-fi so appealing? Though a lot of lo-fi sticks to jazz or funk music as a sample, it isn't actually limited to those two genres. You can take pretty much any other genre and mix it in a lo-fi method, and what you'll create will most likely work. In fact, chances are there is a lo-fi mix for any kind of genre out there somewhere on the internet. You may even see some very ambitious and off-the-curve elements in the music, such as some parts randomly reversing or cutting to static. In other styles, these choices would be practically unthinkable, but for lo-fi, anything goes. Hence, listeners have a massive ocean of different lo-fi styles out there, making its appeal especially expansive. So even though there are many different forms of lo-fi music, there is one key characteristic that this genre generally follows. This characteristic can help us to understand its appeal. It's something that not only the actual sound follows, but also the artwork and other pieces of material do too. I'm of course referring to nostalgia. A lot of lo-fi music focuses on using very nostalgic conventions. For example, for the majority of songs under the genre, old movie clips, sound effects, and even VHS static are added throughout. I myself am even guilty of following this methodology for some of the songs that I have made. When may I ask, will that be? When I showed this song to my parents, they immediately recognised the original sample, that being the 1950 film The Man Who Cheated Himself. This, combined with an old piano instrumental, helps people to reminisce to a time when they were watching these movies or listening to older songs, or possibly all of the above. This may explain why a lot of people choose to listen to lo-fi. It's all built upon nostalgia. But still, that doesn't provide a full explanation. It's very clear that nostalgia has a big impact on what makes lo-fi music so popular, but there is something that doesn't really add up. It would make sense that 80s and 70s adults would find this music to be quite nostalgic, but why are they young adults and teens listening to this? How could they reminisce back to a time when they weren't even born? Nobody really knows why nostalgia is present within younger people who listen to this form of music, but some put it down to what they watch on TV, like old films or content played on older pieces of technology, while others put it down to the longing of a simpler time that carries less problems than their current life. Really, we can't put it down to one reason. It's different for every single person since everyone has had different experiences. So, likewise, we could say the same for lo-fi's appeal as a whole. So why is lo-fi music so popular? Why is it that millions upon millions of people gather around the world to listen to it every single day? Well, to answer the question, we need to look at every single opinion and try to create connections between every single one. We need to find one main reason as to why lo-fi music is so popular. But clearly, there are so many different reasons as to why lo-fi music is so popular. By examining every single little detail, we've been defeating the whole point of what lo-fi music represents. It's the type of music that doesn't hype you up, doesn't provoke any thought, doesn't hold a deeper meaning. Instead, it's the type of music that will slow you down in a world that maybe moves too fast. And that's the closest to an answer we're ever going to get. Would I have a reason? You know, I'm beginning to think I might possibly have been mistaken about you. Perhaps it's your fear.